thank you for agreeing to see me. You look beautiful. I know. I know you're not used to yourself yet. You really do look beautiful. And how could you look anything else? With those eyes, that hair. I've waited for this moment for a long time. I've gone over and over in my mind exactly what I was going to say to you. But now that I'm here, I, I don't know where to begin. Except to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the pain and anguish I've caused you. It was my fault. I know it was. So if, if, if you want to, um, if you want to turn me over to the police for attempted murder, I'll understand. And I'll accept any punishment they give me. Not that any prison term could compare to the pain and the anguish that you've been through. Why? Why are you looking at me like that? You must really hate me. I, I know you must. Mr. McCord, I'm sorry. I'll have to ask you to leave. Ms. Cartwright has an appointment with a throat specialist, and she can't be late. Of course. I'll uh, send the nurse in then, and I'll uh, meet you at the elevator, all right? All right, thank you. You can go in now. Hey, Nola, hello. Oh, hi, Dr. McIntyre. And what are you doing on this floor? Oh, actually, Justin and Dr. Alexander asked me to check on one of their patients. Is that patient Rebecca Cartwright? Yes, yes, in fact, it is. Are you helping her adjust to the way that she looks now? More or less, uh-huh. Oh, I hear she's beautiful. Well, I think so, too. All the male members of the staff agree oh. with me. <laughs> she nice? Oh, and she seems to be. Of course, uh, she can't speak yet. Uh, Dr. Mason doesn't want her to overexert herself till the tissues heal completely. Oh. Would you, uh, excuse me for just oh, a minute? certainly. Could I have Miss Cartwright's chair, please? Are you going down to her room now? Um, actually, no, I was, um, I was just there, but I want to have the chart ready. She's going down to see the, uh, the throat specialist. Oh. Uh, they should be here any minute. They? Uh, yes, Mr. McCord visited her in her room. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Nola, if you'd like to uh, talk to Mr. McCord, they're here. Chamberlain. Mr. McCord. May I uh, speak with you for a moment? Oh, please, Quentin. Sit down. Thank you. Always good to see you. How have you been lately? Well, I had a rather emotional day today, but I'm fine. Well, I can certainly sympathize with you. All of my days have been like that of late. Oh, well, would you like some coffee or something? Else? No, 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 no. Thank you anyway. Uh, I'd like to get to the matter that I wish to speak to you about. Well, certainly go right ahead. Well, I don't mean to pry into your personal life. Please understand that. But I'm just a little concerned about the state of your health. The state of my health? Well, I certainly appreciate your concern, but uh, I don't know that I warrant it. Now, come to think of it, an awful lot of people seem to be concerned about the state of my health lately. Well, you're a great man, and we all care about you. Oh, well, thank you for the compliment. <laughs> Is this just a social inquiry, or is there something specific back of all that? Well, I'll be frank with you. I'm concerned because of the upcoming stockholders' battle for Spalding Enterprises. If, of course, there is going to be such a battle. Well, let me assure you, there's certainly going to be such a battle. And you don't have to worry about me. Whatever I start, I finish. A 
assuming you're able to. What makes you think I won't be able to? Well, Mr. Chamberlain, your daughter came and saw me today, and she, uh, well, she told me about your recent physical examination. Oh, yes, yeah. And she asked me to rescind my proxy and fear that the fight might precipitate a heart attack or undermine your health. What? When did she say that? Today. Oh, my God. I'll be damned. Now, you can understand why I brought the subject up. Well, yes, yes, I can understand your concern, but she had no right to say that. Now, 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 don't worry about it. I mean, it won't go any further than me. She was just being a concerned daughter. No, she was being an interfering daughter. And, uh, and an inaccurate one. Justin just told me that I, my, my, my health is in perfect condition. There is nothing wrong with my health. <sighs> Nobody has any reason to worry about the state of my health. And maybe I better take a full page ad in the Springfield Journal to that effect. I'm sorry to get so upset, Quentin, but I'm, I, I, I'm really furious with Vanessa. Uh, Henry, your daughter was quite upset, too. Well, she's going to be more upset when I get through talking, but I'm going to straighten her out. But, but you did have a physical recently, didn't you? Yes, yes, and I am fine. Oh, I know, doctors are always saying, take it easy, don't do too much. And I'll be on the shelf long before your time. Quentin, I have got to go through with this proxy battle because I have nobody to fight it for me, unfortunately. Well, what about Vanessa? She seems like a very competent young businesswoman. Oh, Vanessa, she's competent, all right. And I've taught her a great deal about business infighting. Sometimes I think I've taught her too much about business. It has a dehumanizing effect on people. Some of them. Well, may I tell you something? Certainly. I've always wanted a son. And I'm afraid I brought Vanessa up as a sort of substitute. <laughs> and she never lets me forget it. I suppose every man wants a son to carry on his name, if nothing else. Well, in my case, it was more than that, but it wasn't to be, so that's that. Now, look, let's get back to business. I, I need your proxy, and I must go on with this battle. Now, don't think that I'm just being a male chauvinist, but I have got to run Spalding Enterprises, because if I don't, Alan Spalding has to do it. Why Alan Spalding? Well, because we need somebody with experience, someone with a re reputation, someone with know-how to reassure our nervous stockholders. And they have every right to be nervous at this point. We are going through a very rocky period. Yes, I realize that. Mm. What Vanessa should be doing is getting behind me, giving her support by voting along with me. I'm sure she will. I'm not so sure she will. I'm afraid she's very disappointed in me as a father. I'm a little disappointed in myself.